Today is part, well, part, part three. three. We've changed locations. We've moved from here to there. We're in, in the, the office there. today. Change clothes. It's mm. a different day, but still part three. Mm. Uh, these are Adam's asks questions, but there are a bit more than that. This is mm. you ask because these are questions that are. Uh, they've been, been there's comments been on YouTube videos. Yeah. So I've already answered these once, so I've kind of got to remember what my answer was. But mm -hmm. we were going through the comments. And one of the things we've noticed about the comments on YouTube is if you ask a question and we comment back, not everybody sees the comment. And some of yeah. them are pretty good, if I do yeah, say so myself. Question, Jess. Hey, I'm Jess. I'm Adam. We are ForTheLandlords.com. We help landlords get more money, save hassle, and get their time back. If you've got a question yourself, ask it of this video. We watch, read all the comments and we'll reply back, and it might even be get made into a video as well. So come on, Adam. Cool. Let me see right. uh, what's the questions. Question one is, how does For The Landlords work? Uh, Basically, what are, who are who For are The Landlords? We? Who are we? What do we do? Well, we're, we're a letting agent. This is, this is your job. You, yeah, you, you, I know. You do this before. This is you. Yeah. So we're a letting agent. I think that does it's not pass... called Adam Asks himself. No, no, no. no. <coughs> that, that does actually, yeah, it's a serious question because it passes people by sometimes because yeah, they meet us on YouTube. We're answering all these questions. We're doing instructional instructional videos, guides, mm -hmm. how-tos, almost an education thing. And some people say, oh, you're an education company. No. We're a letting agency. We manage nearly a thousand properties. Um, the, the sort of little phrase we use is we, you know, we, we do contracts, fix leaky taps, put tenants in. We do all the proper management behind us. You know, there's you know, proper people in this room, this room, this room. Some of them are out and yeah, about. Out and about doing, doing um, looking after properties. Um, might even be able to hear the phone ringing. We are also, um, we do a bit more. We, we, we're, we're the UK's number one sourcer, so we'll yeah. find a source and renovate and, and rent a property. So we only renovate, uh, sorry, only source properties that we want to rent out ourselves. I'm a landlord myself. And if it, the kind of house that I'd want to buy is the kind of house that these guys want to rent, they're the kind of houses we source. So it's soup to nuts sourcing, which is a bit different mm. to just the normal sourcer, which packages it all up, throws it at you and says, get on with it yourself, sort your own builder out. We'll, manage the renovation and all those things. Um, and we're famous for the one page landlord success plan as well. So we get a bit more involved with the landlord versus another letting agency and we'll help you build a business plan to grow, optimize your portfolio, get you where you want to be. Yeah. The, the, the strap line for the, the, the plan is it meets you where you're at. So wherever you are, it's different for every person. It meets you where you're at. You describe where you want to be and it'll tell you the steps to get there. And that's what the one page success plan does. Mm. That's, our, um, that's our unique Perfect. selling points in a nutshell. That's it. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, right, next one. I'm good at that, aren't I? Yeah, <laughs> sounds like you've said it before. Practiced it. Right. <laughs> what advice can you give to someone who doesn't know where to start? So, for example, what's the minimum amount of money needed? to get going. It's specifically about money or where, where, where to start. This one's more specific about, about, about the money. Yeah, I think okay. so. What advice can you give someone who doesn't know where to start, the minimum amount of money needed to start this journey? Okay, so that's a, a question on YouTube. I think there's two things there. Mm. Common that if you want to get involved in property or become a landlord, um, yeah, it, it's confusing. There's lots of different places, mm. things you could do, lots of different strategies. A uh, good place to start is forthelandlords.com. True. If you are a landlord or you want to be, you really should be a member of ForTheLandlords.com, so get yourself over there, join up, and um, you will get videos, and this is sounding a bit more like a pitch, mm. it's not be. Look around, the, around the, um, the, the website, get educated, get informed. We always uh, like a landlord that we take from zero to yeah, a number of properties, that first time landlord, to be, word we use is engaged, yeah. knowledgeable, because you want to get it with your eyes wide open. Hmm. Um, come, so, well, we do the weekly webinars. Um, yeah. Come and join one of them. We just loads of information. Get involved. There's I mean, no, no, no pressure there. No it's pressure. all just learning. So that's, that's, that's number one. The the minimum the, amount of money. Minimum money. You do that two, money, yeah. two ways of looking at it. If you buy a house with a mortgage, um, a buy to let, you need a 25% deposit. You perhaps going to need to do some light renovation work. So you need at least 30 to 40 grand there. Um, if you're going to buy a house that's really run down in cash, refurb, refinance, you need a Hundred, maybe not, maybe eighty-five to ninety is a real minimum. But, minimum, but hundred, yeah, it's about the sweet spot to there get no you maximum. going. There yeah, no there's no maximum, of course. Yeah. Um, actually, this one leads in. Um, do you charge a finder's fee? So, like a, a sourcing and renovation management fee. I okay. take that to mean, and yeah, yeah, we, we, of course we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're a yeah, business, yeah. of course. At the end of the day. So, how we work. Yeah. We are a letting agency, but we're also a property sourcer. And I think what mm. that's meaning there is mm. when we go out and source a property for you. Um, a bit more in the how it works. You place an order, so have yeah. a meeting with one member of the team, comes through to another member of the team to sort of verify it. You place your order, 
and that gets you your slot, the, 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 the sourcing team, wherever you decided you're gonna want your house and what you want it to look like, and is it a two bed, three bed, where is it in the country, what's your budget, um, what, what's it gonna rent for? We will go out that next week or the week after, you'll have your slot, your, your time, you'll, have, you'll be on the phone to the, the sourcer throughout that time, backwards and forwards, could be, could be WhatsApp or voice messages or whatever, but you know, they'll be mm. calling you from the house, and this is the yeah. one that I've found for you, the one that, I, you know, out of the four that we shortlisted, I'm here, I've done the viewing, I think X, Y, and Z, I've costed this up, we're going to go ahead with yeah. it. It meets the, it meets the we criteria. We charge you a fee, a, typ charge a fee typical that, yeah. fee. <clears throat> if it's um, one that's having like pretty much a full renovation, it would be £6,000, and that would cover the cost of finding the house, managing the renovation. Um, we, we, we price the job up and we um, tell you what the fee's going to be up front, so you know if it's a massive project, you know. a big flat conversion or a 10 bed HMO or something, the fee will be bigger because there's more work going into it. But um, we always talk about that right at the outset when yeah. we're even sourcing the property. The most important thing about the fee is it pays for itself. Yeah, of course. Yeah, if it, it costs money to do all those things that need doing and uh, when you work it out at an hourly rate it's quite cheap. That's that's the first point. You know, it's, it's not expensive. £6,000 might sound, sound a lot. A lot. We factor it when, into, when you factor it into the, the amount of work that goes into yeah. it's a three month long project. It's not that much. Uh, our main aim is to build a letting agency and that, that feeds into that. Definitely. Um, but if we buy the house, let's say it's a six grand fee, if we buy the house 10 grand less and get the renovation for five grand less, easy choice, isn't it? And it, yeah. and it is that much for, for, for most on a and, typical. And the time as well. Yeah, time one thing, actual pound yeah. pounds. Cool, next okay, one? next one. Um, should landlords be concerned about EPC ratings tightening in the coming years and what do you anticipate the knock-on effect will be, Ooh. if at all? I think this is perhaps maybe a couple of months it would have been so honestly yeah of course be knowledgeable about it keep up to date with it only so what are we now 2024 early early 2024 and uh, the rule was scrapped it was mm. thought that mm. well, give, me, give me when i get it wrong correct me uh, it goes from a to g uh, an epc rate energy performance certificate goes from a to g right now it has to be a d no e e, e to move in mm. so it shows what i know to move in, and the talk was about making it a C. Yeah. Yeah, I've got that right. Uh, and lots of people panicked about that, rushed to do all sorts of things to get it to a C. Two things, one, it's not that hard to get it to a C. It no, really it's isn't. Not. Um, it, you don't have to do lots of extra stuff. To get it to a B is, you know, that, that's, that's a push. But for a terraced, Victorian terraced house, which is about the worst it could be, you could even get that to a C, you know, mm. boiler, double glazing, um, LEDs, thermostat, radiators, all that stuff, you, you pretty much get to a C. Um, and, you, and if you don't, you can. So I won't worry about it. And then the other reason not to worry about it is they scrapped all the rules. They're not going to do it now. They're not going to push it to a, to a C. Might come in at some um, point. It will, it will come in at some point, but it was just a bit too um, bit too soon. I don't know when it will come in, but I'm sure it will at some point. Um, it's not going to be that hard to get it to a C through normal maintenance in the time we've got. And that's generally, my personal housing stock, that's what I'm doing. Bro, all right, I think we're going to leave it there for today. Right, that's the end of that one. Uh, stay tuned for part four. I'm sure there'll be either a little blinky button or something to do that. Right. Yep. Ta-ta for now.